Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University. At this time we are talking about HDP Certified Administrator and as part of that we are in the process of setting up the cluster. Uh, in, in, in the process of setting up the cluster, we are trying to provision the instances on EC2. As part of the earlier video, I have covered uh, up to the last step but it failed because I don't have enough resources. I need 6 servers but the initial limit is only 5 so in this um, uh, for which I have raised a, a ticket and now the limit is increased now I am trying to create uh, 6 uh, instances on which uh, HDP cluster or Hotmox cluster will be set up so click on EC2 launch instance I will go a little bit faster because these steps are already covered as part of the last video AWS Marketplace, Red Hat, hit enter and uh, we want to take the Red Hat 6, so select and make sure you consider good, uh, um, uh, good uh, you, you consider uh, considerable size, so in this case I am choosing c3.xlarge, configure instance details and I want to get 6 of them and then uh, add storage 50 GB on each next tag instance HDP23 I will add suffixes for each of the instances later configure security group I will use the existing one so this is the one for HDP23 which I have created earlier I am opening up everything as of now and then review and launch and click on launch and I will be using the existing uh, uh, pair which is HDP23 which I have created as part of the last video then I acknowledge launch instance and uh, it will um, bring up 6 instances in a moment so while it is uh, while, while the instances are coming up you can click on this view instances and see what is happening here so each of these instances have the public DNS one problem with uh, AWS is by default these public DNSs are not uh, static they are dynamic every time you shut down and start the instance uh, the IP address changes the reason is uh, um, IP addresses uh, have to be accessible uh, across the globe and uh, AWS has to pay money for the uh, DNS providers or whoever provides the public uh, IP addresses and hence uh, 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 the free ones which are uh, uh, which are used as public DNSs will be uh, will be assigned to can be assigned to multiple instances when uh, the respective instance is not up and running okay so hence if you shut down uh, any of these instances and if you start the IP addresses change for that reason you have to configure elastic IP and each elastic IP is associated with a cost and to minimize the cost the costs are nominal for all the six uh, uh, public IPs uh, if, if you want to create elastic IP for each of the instance for uh, all the 16, uh, 16, uh, 6 instances it will be around 5 dollars per month 5 or 6 dollars per month uh, to, uh, to minimize the cost uh, uh, when you are doing R&D just use the elastic IP with, uh, for one of the instance and uh, leave the public DNS for the other so hence we will go to elastic IPs and click on allocate new address yes allocate uh, make sure that the elastic IP is created with VPC if not uh, uh, you have to change it I think uh, now everything is VPC uh, uh, so we can use this VP uh, uh, this elastic IP uh, to associate with the one of the instances of, that are running and we will designate that instance as bastion or gateway or client node for our cluster okay and also when it comes to these instances each of these instances have private IPs and those private IPs will not change when if you use VPC uh, so we will be use, uh, setting up cluster using these private IPs public uh, IPs are only 
for uh, um, uh, to facilitate connectivity to the uh, public private ip is to communicate between themselves so if you want to understand uh, concepts behind that go to my channel youtube.com and then uh, search for amazon web services actually you can search for the elastic ip also okay i think uh, this is the one which covers that networking and also you can go to my uh, existing uh, hdp course hadoop administration hortonworks on aws yeah this is the one hadoop administration hortonworks aws if you go here you have this networking and in that it covers the elastic ip in detail and also it covers what is bastion is and uh, we will be uh, using uh, one instance as the bastion or gateway or client node and then we will set up the cluster on rest of the nodes okay so now let us name the uh, each of these instances more appropriately for that i want to use the private ip private ip is not um, uh, available in this list if you want to add you can click on this wheel icon and here you can uh, remove whatever is not required i don't want key name to be displayed here i don't want uh, alarm st status to be displayed i don't want availability zone i don't want uh, monitoring or launch time or security groups but i want private ip address or private dns in this case i will use private ip address the reason is i want to sort on the private ad ip address it is not required but for my uh, manageability purpose while setting up the cluster uh, the most appropriate way to sort is by using private ip address and now if you see they are in as uh, ascending order so the 37 will be bastion 38 will be master 1 39 will be master 2 and then 40 will be worker 0 1 worker 0 2 and worker 0 3 okay and now we also want to associate the elastic ip to the bastion so even if uh, other changes i want to keep the bastion same because i will be using the bastion to connect and also to do the tunneling again if you want to understand the uh, tunneling uh, setup ssh forwarding all those things you have to come come back to this playlist okay i will add these videos also uh, to uh, to this course uh, but you need to have good understanding about these things okay now i want to elect, uh, associate this to one of the running instances which is bastion in this case and then click on associate okay now you have this one um, what uh, and if you go to instances you can see that the public dns is derived from the elastic ip the elastic ip says it's uh, 52 uh, public dns is ec2 52 blah 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 if you go to instances and if you go to, uh, look at public dns you can see that it's 52 so now let's validate uh, connecting to these instances so i have created a key pair called hdp23 while setting up the cluster and i have downloaded it as part of the last video and it is in my downloads page so downloads directory so i am in my home directory on my mac cd 
downloads and this is the pem file which i have downloaded now what i have to do is as such minus i hdp 23.pem and uh, uh, to connect to the red hat instances we have to use ec2 minus user as the username at what is the public ip this one copy paste and hit enter type yes okay there is the permissions issue so what i am doing is i am creating a directory called ec2 it's a hidden directory so not here rm minus rf dot ec2 i am going to my home directory by running cd command uh, and i am in in my home directory slash user slash dgadiraju in this i am creating a directory called ec2 hidden directory and i want to move the file which is under downloads the file name is http23.pem or pem to dot ec2 directory and then i want to say chmod700 minus r on ec2 it should be chmod minus r700 dot ec2 okay now if you look at the permissions on uh, dot ec2 it's 700 and if you go to dot ec2 and look at the pem file it's 600 which is uh, only one can read write or execute okay now i want to run ssh command and my file is under home directory dot ec2 a hidden directory and this is the pem file name and now hit enter and you will be logging into the uh, server without entering the password because you are using the key value pairs which is nothing but ssh public key private key concept okay so this is how you can connect and now we have to set up ssh forwarding so that we can actually connect to the other instances now if i want to connect to any of these instances i can use the either public ip or the private ip okay to connect to the uh, to connect to using public dns you just have to copy for each of the instance and then exit from here and then you can say ssh minus i dot ec2 http 23 dot pm e pm ec2 minus user at ip address so this is the public dns for some other instance and you will be able to log in without entering the username and password using the same concept of passwordless login type yes and hit enter now you will be inside the host like that you can connect to all the hosts but only caveat is the ones which are not using elastic ips if you shut down which i will be doing in a moment and when you start the ip addresses can change watch out these ip addresses the uh, first one is 52288871 which we got from the uh, elastic ip and the other ones are 5415224364 and now if i choose all of them and then say actions instant state and stop you should not click on terminate if you terminate everything will be gone click on s stop and it will take a moment to stop and once you once these are stopped except for the first one for all the other other ones the public dns and public ip will be gone so just wait for a few minutes and then we will watch now you can see that all the public dnss and public ips are gone that's because uh, the default uh, public dnss that will be assigned with aw by aws will be uh, revoked once you stop the servers Uh, because uh, for them ip is cost money and they don't want to waste the resources and they want to allocate those resources to someone else who are trying to use the instances so this is how you should plan you should not have public dnss for all the nodes only identify one node which is termed as bastion in aws terms 
uh, or gateway or client in um, uh, Hadoop world and uh, give public IP only to that and using that you can do the SSH forwarding to access remaining uh, uh, hosts using IP addresses from your PC which I will demonstrate as part of the next video. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on the channel. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. If you want to discuss further about certifications, please uh, uh, join my LinkedIn group called IT -versity, Hadoop sorry, IT Versity Certifications. And finally, if you have any questions, uh, sorry. Yeah, if you have any questions around this, please use Stack Overflow to get your questions answered or you can post in my LinkedIn groups or uh, comment section of the videos also. And finally, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.